What sparked the decision for John Deere to offer this broader array of tools on operation center other than the ones you would traditionally offer? So currently, if, if you look at the total farming uh, um, that, that happens today and all the decisions that, that a farmer has to make, it's not just all about the equipment. Farmers don't farm alone. They also utilize seed companies, fertilizer companies, financial advisors, companies like that, with what we basically call third-party companies. So we've generated this more tools option for a, for a farmer as he goes into operation center, then that will populate a list for him of all of these additional companies um, that he can then select off to continue to, to, to make decisions and assist him with his day-to-day -day, um, decisions that he has to make on a farm. What value does the operation center offer these third-party companies that join in on the platform? So as soon as the third-party company becomes part of more tools, um, it, it gives them access to data. Obviously, that is very much dependent on the customer that he's working with, giving him the correct permission based on the data that that company would then require. But it makes it a lot easier. It, it, you can say it's, it's like the, the, the data goes to that company automatically. What sparked the decision for John Deere to offer this broader array of tools on the operation center other than your traditional offerings? So for jo John Deere is all about a journey and the journey of a collective power. So I think John Deere is a, a company through many years that's been focused on building equipment, uh, tractors, planters, implements, sprayers, and then also technology hardware. Um, but John Deere on the software development side has seen an opportunity to really get collective power and insights from other third party companies um, that eat through a unit or a body called Operation Center uh, with more tools options in there that they can enable a customer to select to with whom he wants to share his data. At the end of the day, it's all about making uh, impactful connections with, with third party companies and John Deere, but together giving the customer solution for faster decision making, more precise farm management, more sustainability. This all will then tie into our broader vision to, to help those connected to the land uh, drive the green revolution in Africa, uh, help feed the continent, and eventually by 2050, as we've all seen, uh, a growth in the, in the world population, we need to double our output in, in product, uh, productivity of food. And, and what that means is a more sustainable and resilient business. Uh, customers need to move from, from stronger equipment to, to smarter equipment. Um, they need to have access to insights and data to help them with real-time decision making. And, and what John Deere realized that alone we can't achieve that. Uh, and that's the reason why we've held this day developed with Deere 2019 for Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, particularly covering our area with customers and uh, connecting them with third parties um, to provide better insights to our customers. The operation center ultimately helps the farmer to make decisions, but will too many tools and options not confuse the farmer on which one to use? How will John Deere go about streamlining the options for the customer? So, so too many options is also not good, right? So uh, what John Deere does, aside from, from us actually pre-selecting a number of companies, so uh, through all our campaigns we, we ran started um, earlier this, this calendar year uh, up until after our NAMPA when we actually did a big launch of operation center and more tools. Uh, we pre-selected a number of companies that we've seen had a definite present, presence in South Africa in, in our African markets. Uh, if you go beyond what we've done here and, the, and, and these companies elect to go into more tools and into the development phase of adding their apps into the system, there's a further process where John Deere engineers will start to look at what true value this company will add to a customer. So we can't just add information that's in, irrelevant or too many options that provide, basically gives the same thing. So there's, there's a, a broader process behind uh, what we've done up to today um, that the, the companies need to, to actually prove that they can add value and they have support uh, to these customers. So there would be a, a pre-selection phase, obviously, um, beyond today that, that those customers have, companies have to qualify for to be listed on tools.